Good evening, everybody. It is roughly 9.30 p.m. Wednesday night. This Saturday, we're racing in the Florida State Time Trial Championships on the bicycle. So tonight, we are cleaning the bike. We are prepping it. We are putting the race wheels on, our Zip Super 9 rear disc and the 858 NSW front wheel. We're putting on the race chain, and we are getting ready to rumble. So the name of the game in time trialing is Aero, Power, and Resistance. So we've been working on the rear brake disc, and we have zero touching. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay, bike prep is done. We've got the race wheels on. We checked both front and rear brake discs, no rubbing. Very nice. We've got some wax on the chain we took off this bottle cage for better aero <coughs> we're keeping this middle bottle here for more surface area better aero <coughs> we might add a bottle in this cage for better aero <coughs> why does he keep doing that and we might add tape to cover up these inlets on the helmet for better aero not sure about the shoes. A lot of guys have sleeves that go over the shoe just for, you know, better aero. Ah! But yeah, I don't have that. So that'll be a DIY project if we decide to go down that road. But yeah, at this point, I'm down to do pretty much anything for better aero. Ah! But that's the machine. Ready to go. We'll do one little ride tomorrow on Friday. Today is now Thursday. As you can see, it's daytime and the boys are chilling. Oh uh, yeah, we'll do a little shakeout ride tomorrow, make sure everything's working, and then it's race day. All right, we're here for our Friday taper ride. The machine is ready. Paul is... <laughs> I don't want to be on camera. <laughs> our little warm-up ride Friday. Paul's warming up as well. Checking out, the ra checking out the race machine, making sure they're shifting. Wheels are good, chain's good couple little race intervals and that's it for today currently deciding on uh, sock options for the race this would be the option if we do not shave the legs and then we might just shave this narrow knee section or we could shave this entire leg and go short socks to have that little resistance better arrow we are also testing <laughs> shoe sleeve options for better aero. <laughs> so we've got a lot of sock options uh, to go through. Obviously we've done a lot for aero gains to the bike and shaving the legs would just be kind of free aero at this point, but I just don't think I'm in the mood right now to, to take it to that level. Okay, we've opted to go for the leg shaving strategy. So we're currently picking some women's razors and we're not sure if we want to use the, the one with bo botanical oils or maybe this one with some vitamin e for sensitive skin we're not sure yet we'll keep you posted this is some of my competition Hello? Here we are, it's race day, Florida State Time Trial Championship. It's gonna be a 40 kilometer race. Of course, it's very flat, so it should be quick. Just did a little warm up, felt okay, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, 
Okay, we just finished. I definitely, I beat the goal time by a little bit. I think it was around 58 minutes. Sub hour was the goal. Ended up at 281 watts, which was a little bit above the goal, which is cool. And it was painful. I'm not sure if I want to do that ever again. The machine was good though. The machine was good. In second place, Jordan Taylor. We got a full podium. And a winning with a 54 38 in the catch. After the Okay, the weekend is over. It was a success. The goal was to go sub one hour and we did it in 57 minutes, 59 seconds. And we pushed 280 watts, which was above the power goal. So that was nice. We finished second in cat five out of seven entries. I uh, averaged 25.7 miles per hour, but I think the overall winner of the whole day was like 28 and a half miles per hour. So definitely a lot of room for improvement. Uh, but in our category, uh, this nice man named Robert won, a massive beast of a German man. Massive. Uh, but yeah, there was no way we were going to compete with him. Uh, my buddy Paul, who did not want to be on camera, took a bit of a tumble at the start line. He was being held by the starter to launch, and he, the starter leaned him over too far, and he fell to the left. It was quite a hard fall, uh, but thankfully it was before the timing line, so he actually didn't lose any time. So that was another positive and something we could at least laugh at afterwards. But yeah, had a lot of fun. It was a good time. We didn't get much footage from the race itself, but this type of video was more of like a weird vlog style. So let us know what you think and maybe we'll do another one sometime.